Well, officials just finished counting the votes here at the Washington County Courthouse just a few minutes ago. Again, we had two elections in Washington County today, the Fayetteville City Council Ward 2 election and then the State Senate 7 district seat. And we know that Colby Fulfer unofficially won that Senate seat by just 34 votes. State Senate District 7 includes parts of Springdale, Fayetteville, Goshen, Elkins, and Tawnytown. The current chief of staff to the Springdale mayor, Colby Fulfer, is running on the Republican side, and child welfare attorney Lisa Parks is running on the Democratic side. The state Senate seat was open after former Senator Lance Eads resigned last year. We caught up with voters today in Springdale and Fayetteville who told us why they think it's important to make your voice heard. I just don't think I could sleep at night knowing that I could have had an influence on the future of my state and I chose not to do anything about it. And it is hard because sometimes, especially in local elections, you might not know who is running. You might not know what the position is. And in that case, just like find somebody that you know and trust and ask. It's important to vote in every election. We get a lot of publicity more for the federal level, but it all starts at home. Um, you know, your day to day depends on who you vote for in your local elections. Uh, decisions about what we're going to do with Dixon Street, you know, Arts Court or all that kind of stuff. That's all local, so it's really important to me to make that effort for every election. Now, these election results will not be officially certified until next Friday at the earliest. That's because there's one overseas ballot that still needs to be checked. Reporting live in Washington County, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.